your skin, Big Vanish. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Pretty Progress 23 aka Elizabeth here. Welcome back to the Acne channel. Today's video is going to be about the law of attraction and how we can use this law to better our lives and change the way we perceive our skin and ultimately achieve clear skin. I mean, have you ever heard of the famous lines, like attracts like? Simply it means, in my perspective, in relation to the law of attraction, is what you put out into the world is what you're going to get back. So for example, some people who release this positive energy by loving themselves and valuing who they are as a person will attract the same like-minded people, will attract positive experiences. But if you are somebody who is negative, you know, filled with self-insecurities and um, emotions of anger and frustration, you are actively attracting this negative energy and we don't want that. Because I know how stressful acne can be. It makes you think ne negatively. It makes you victimize yourself. It makes you blame other people or blame yourself. But no matter how bad the situation is, you got to realize that we have to take responsibility for our, our own actions and our own situations. Um, sometimes acne isn't our fault. Sometimes it's because of our hormones or because of our natural allergies. Or even if you're a vegan, then you have acne. It's just, it's like, why is this happening to me, right? But the thing is, the first thing you need to do is believe in yourself and say, wait a minute, it's not my fault, but I still need to take responsibility for what I'm going through right now. Because the very fact that you think something is uncontrollable is the first mistake in putting yourself in a rut. Now, I'm not an expert in this field, but I am applying these little steps that have made a huge difference. I'm going to get straight into it. I have eight steps that you can apply in your everyday life. Step one. Believe that it's easy. Believe that you can do it. Your mind is the one main thing that can stand in between of you achieving something. It's a massive hurdle that you need to take. So in regards to your skin, no matter how you know sad and disgusting you feel, change that perception and say, and don't say, this is hard. Don't just say, the struggle is so the struggle is so debilitating. Yes, it is debilitating, but we need to acknowledge those emotions and then go past those emotions and say, look, these depressing emotions are not taking me anywhere. It's not allowing me to move forward. So what I can do is accept those emotions, move past those emotions and adopt a new perspective. Actively changing your perspective and shifting it in a, into a place where it's positive makes a huge difference. Because your mind has, your, like, has the ability to kind of manipulate your hormones in a way where you are no longer stressed. And that really helps with the energy within yourself. The only way you can shift those emotions are by either surrounding yourself with positive people or, or and having words of affirmation, which leads me to step two. Words of affirmation is when you say things out loud or you can write them down or you can have them on a vision board. And what I do is, when I'm going through a really, really rough time, I wake up, I have the seven second rule, you know, seven seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna take a deep breath, and these are the words or the phrases that I say. I'm strong, I am beautiful, I don't care that I have cystic pimples right now. Um, actually, wait a minute. With the words of affirmations, don't have negatives in it. So for example, I don't want cystic acne. When you have those words of affirmation, your brain will automatically think of the, your subject, your subject of cystic acne. So it's kind of like a psychological reversal where you think about the main thing and then it stresses you out more. So don't say I don't want cystic acne because there's a negative there. What you need to say is I will have clear skin. And now the subject is clear skin. So your brain will think, that's what I'm focusing on, my clear skin, okay? So when it comes to word of affirmations, don't put negatives in it. Don't say, I don't want this, or I, um, I don't want to experience this, right? Or I'm not going to do this, right? All those negatives, throw out the window and put into a positive. For example, I would say, I will get my work done in time. I will have enough time for myself. I am confident, I am grateful, 
um, for the life that I have. And I will, <laughs> my niece is screaming downstairs, and I will become the best version of myself. Those are the words, words of affirmation that really make a difference in your life. Once these thoughts and beliefs are kind of expressed out loud, it just confirms your beliefs even stronger. It makes you more willing, more determined. So that was step two, okay? We're already step three now, like how quick is that? Step three, to strengthen these words of affirmations and these beliefs, what you need to do is visualize it in your mind. So after confirming your beliefs, you close your eyes and you can and visualize that you're already there where you want, like where you want to be. So two weeks ago, because of my cystic outbreak, I sat down, I visualized having clear skin in a week. And what do you know? My skin has improved drastically. I honestly sat on this on this little cushion here and I was like, I can see myself with clear skin on my boyfriend's birthday. I can see myself having so much fun and not caring about my skin, not even one care in the world. And I kept having that visualization. I was like daydreaming even. And I pitched myself in a place, in the position where I wanted to be. And that allowed my goals of having clearer skin possible. I'm so positive that the vibrations in my body will agree with me and will be on my side. The universe can sense my positivity and I believe that because I'm kind of emitting these positive energies and positive vibrations, they're going to come back to me. I hope that makes sense. I hope this is not like some spiritual nonsense, but it really makes a difference. And I'm telling you, um, I couldn't believe myself. I couldn't believe that from having 10 cystic bumps all over my cheeks on both sides, 10 each, that it could be flat in one week. Like that was never possible before. The next one is number four. Find your placebo. Now when it comes to placebo, it's to do with like an idea that when you're doing something or taking something, that is the number one factor that's actually helping you. It's tricking your mind. So believe in something that you think will truly change your acne or your pimples or whatever you want to change. For an example is, there's these patients who are terminally ill because they were emotionally impacted by some sort of disease, right? And the nurse or the doctor gave them these pills, these magical pills that would cure them. They said, take this once a day and by the end of the month, you're gonna feel so much better. It's scientifically pro proven, right? These patients took these tablets every single day and what do you know? They were improving drastically. Their health was increasing, it was optimized. In the end of that experiment, it was confirmed that these pills were just sugar pills. There were no therapeutic effects on these pills. Isn't that crazy? I mean, they were given sugar pills all along, but because their mind believed that these pills were magical pills, that these pills were gonna, um, these pills were gonna cure them from their illness, that they themselves were the one who had so much power to kind of cure themselves. And that's the same thing with us. So right now I'm taking zilch acne pills and I'm doing my skincare routine and I have full belief in what I'm doing. I'm washing my face every morning. I'm using the Banish Vitamin C cream at night. I am using my 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. I'm taking four tablets of my zilch acne pills and a week later I am doing so well because I had faith in it. And you know, some people may believe, no, it's not your faith. It's the things that you're doing and yes, I believe that it's both. It's both your physical actions and both your emotional actions. So the next step is your fifth step. You have to act physically like it's already occurred. So if I want clear skin in a week, I'm not gonna wait for it. I'm gonna tell my mind that I have clear skin right now, even if I don't, right? I wanna act like I do. And I send out these these confirmations to the world that I have clear skin and it seems ridiculous but it really helped with the process of healing like healing internally is so so vital to the selfhood so vital to your soul so I went out to uni and we had a group collaboration like pair work or whatever in class and the teacher says you know Liz go across the room um, you are paired up with Michael I, can't, I don't even remember his name okay let's just say Ben okay I was paired up with Ben and Knowing me, I used to be, like two years ago, if you asked me to talk to some guy, 
um, I'll be very very nervous I'll be very shy because like I used to react to a male's perspective on my skin I didn't want to be judged for being you know someone who was unattractive someone who looks dirty with pimples that was my mindset two years ago and now I walked over there sat next to Ben and I was yapping on like no tomorrow. I looked at him straight into the eye. I made eye contact. I didn't care about my skin because there was no reason to care for my skin, right? I had to act like I had clear skin. So I felt so confident. I felt amazing. I felt so happy that I have confidence, right? So do things that make you feel good. That's one of the main steps in the law of attraction. Act like you're already there. This is my motto. Fake it until you make it. I'm not kidding. <sighs> no, I'm so happy. Okay, it's been great. I mean, okay, now I'm kind of getting off track. Okay, so my next step is step six. Start showing appreciation and acknowledgement for other people who have the qualities that you want. Stop envying them. Stop being jealous. I feel like we're in a world where we are you know, we haven't really empowered others enough because we want what they have and we feel like um, the absence of that weigh us down but really look at these absences as a form of aspiration. So when I have friends with clear skin, I don't say I'm so jealous of your clear skin. I don't say that anymore. I say, you have such beautiful skin, Sophie. You have amazing um, texture baby you look so good I say it to my boyfriend all the time as well <laughs> when you compliment these people it makes you feel like a better person it, it makes you become a better person and it doesn't like internally it tricks your mind in thinking these are good qualities I'm gonna get these good qualities instead of saying these are qualities I don't have I'm so jealous you know so you kind of want to get rid of that negativity out don't be envious be appreciative it makes a world of a difference. I remember, this is, I don't know if this is just me, but sometimes when I'm on Instagram, I see beautiful girls and I'm scared of following them because I'm scared of being envious. But I've learned so much over the past few years by applying this law of attraction. I look at these girls and like these real girls, authentic girls who have beautiful clear skin, who upload the, all these makeup free photos, who um, love their bodies. And I'm just like, you're amazing, you're incredible, keep doing you boo and yeah and I feel like that has made my my brains, my vibrations, my energy within me feel like um, these are the things that I want and I will get them, right? Step 7 is pretty simple, it kind of wraps everything up almost. You need to release restriction, again it's kind of like love yourself in a way where you need to embrace every single flaw if there is something stopping you from loving yourself, work on that. Focus on that. Don't let it distract you from your bigger goals. What you need to do with loving yourself, you need to be true to yourself on social media if that's where you spend most of your time because social media can be very oppressing. If you're uploading fake photos and then you receive so many compliments, deep down inside you know that that's not the real you and then you feel crappy. And you don't want that. So embrace every single flaw, both on social media and in real life. And step eight is my last and final step in completing the law of attraction. Step eight is realizing that if you are ever going through a setback, know that you will pass this. Know that you will overcome this. So many times I fell into that, that loophole, that bottomless abyss thinking seriously I'm hitting rock bottom how can I escape this I feel like I'm suffocating why am I having such bad stomach pains why do I feel gross with these oily pimples on my face and then I really just take have to breathe in and breathe out and remind myself look you've learned so much over the past two years um, don't give up now, okay? Know that this setback is just a lesson in making you stronger. It's just a lesson in making you who you are today. Embrace it. And then start back from step one. Believe in yourself. Again and again and again. And over time, you will see how your life will change. It's incredible. So, 
I guess that's what I have all for today. Thank you so much for listening to me blab on. It's been an incredible journey um, and I'm going to continue doing whatever I can to be there for you guys to express my truest self true, true, and to express my most authentic self and to grow with you guys and know that if you're a positive person, you're a positive human being, the universe will know that. The universe will return your positive vibrations and you will become the best version of yourself. Don't lose faith and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It will mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. You can find me um, at prettypurpose23, both Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And I'll see you guys soon. See you later. There's a hope